Hello, I'm Paul Michael Gabriel, and welcome to the Paul Michael Gabriel Kitty Cat Craft Show. I'm, I'm Paul Michael Gabriel, and this is my Kitty Cat Craft Show. Now, my two favorite things in the world are my big fat Greek wedding and spoiling my kitties with homemade gifts. But how many times he gone to PetSmart and noticed the outrageous prices? Ten bucks for a feather teaser toy? Get out of here! So instead of going to the poorhouse, we're gonna be making our very own kitty hidden treasure. Yarn, matey! Now today we're gonna be making catnip filled mice. My cats go crazy for them. Seriously, when I try to take them away, they go for my eyes. Now kitties love picking on mice because they're mortal enemies. Back in the year 50 BC, rodent king Rothelian the Cruel betrayed a two millennia old truce between the cats and the mice ending in Kitty Queen Madaris the Hammer, declaring a blood war on rodent kind. Neat! Now first off, we're gonna need a couple things for our kitty creations, most of which you can get from Michael's, which is my favorite store because it's my name. So first off, we're gonna need some material. These are some clothes left over from my, uh, my goddaughter Haley when she was last here. Next, we're gonna want something for the filling. Uh, these are some lentils that I thought was popcorn. They uh, did not pop, so. Gonna get some catnip, otherwise known as pussy pot, some scissors, be careful now. And lastly, some thread for the tail. I'm using a shoelace. Now first things first, we're gonna wanna draw our mouth. It doesn't have to be perfect, but make it your own. My kitties have trouble with their body image, so I like to keep it small. Now once we got our upper and our lower, you're gonna wanna connect them with some room around the butt to insert the filling but I don't sew on account of a painful needle accident I had many years ago. Ouch. So today, I have my good friend Wendy help me out. Hi there, thanks for having me. It's not your show, Wendy. Hi baby, hi baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. we got that. So this is mine now, so you can pick it up and get to work. Stitch the upper and the lower together. Yeah, I don't think you even locked the locked the first stitch. Oh she 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 doesn't like it either. She doesn't like you. Now that we've got the floppy lifeless body of a felt rodent, we're gonna want to start filling up with lentils. Think of it sort of as reverse pooping. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Now once we got it filled up with lentils, we're gonna wanna start filling it up with catnip. Now be careful. My kitty's got addicted to the stuff and held me hostage in the bathroom when I tried to take it away. But it is pretty fun to see him go. All right, this thing's ready to blow. Now we just gotta stitch up the butt so it's not leaking catnip all over the house. Wendy, help. Push it. Now pull it. Now push it back there. Now we're almost done. Next thing to do is put some googly eyes on it. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> now we gotta give it a name. I like the name Otis because it's my favorite type of elevator. And now for the best part, give it to your cats and watch them have fun. Look at him go. Oh my gosh. Talk about sitting in the lap of luxury, right Wendy? Wendy. What? Never mind. Thanks so much for watching the show. Stay tuned next time when we make a cat scratcher board. <laughs>